Did you know that nearly 80% of the Republic of Congo's population lives here, near the Congo River? Welcome to Open Tierra. Today we're exploring the Republic of Congo, one of Africa's vibrant nations. Distinct from the Democratic Republic of Congo, which has a similar name but is a completely separate country. Delve into its history, culture, geography and cuisine. Watch until the end for a captivating journey through this remarkable country. The area of the modern-day Republic of Congo was first colonized by France during the late 1800s. The Congo River and its access to the interior of Africa made it a prized possession. The French formally established the Moyen Congo colony in 1891. As in other French colonies, the Republic of Congo was exploited as an economic asset to benefit France. The colony provided commodities like rubber, ivory, palm oil, and tropical woods back to France. Forced labor and cash crop farming disrupted traditional economies and ways of life. The French also imposed cultural assimilation on the Congolese people, including language, religion, and education policies that aimed to make inhabitants more French. Very few natives had access to higher level administrative roles as institutionalized racism prevailed. Growing calls for self-determination after World War II led France to initiate reforms in 1956 to give their African colonies more internal autonomy. However, full independence would not arrive until August 15, 1960, after nationalist unrest. This relatively fast transition to home rule, compared to Belgian holdings, led to ongoing political turbulence and economic struggles in the Republic of Congo. The country still suffers from French colonial legacies, including centralized governance, single commodity dependence, and ethnic political factionalism that fuels conflict. All artifacts from the colonial experience. According to the World Bank, the Republic of Congo is home to almost 6 million people from a diverse variety of ethnic groups, religions and languages. The majority ethnic groups are the Congo and Teke people. Together, they make up around two-thirds of the population. In terms of religion, 50% of Congolese identify as Christian, mostly Roman Catholic, reflecting the influence of French and Belgian colonialism. Around 32% retain indigenous beliefs and practices, while 10% are Muslim, and more than 90% of Muslims in the Congo are Sunni. French is the official language of the Congo, a holdover from their colonial past, and is the main language. However, only a small proportion of people speak it as their mother tongue. More widely spoken is Kituba, a Creole language based on Kikongo that serves as a general trade language for groups who don't share a common native tongue. Other indigenous languages include Kikongo and Lingala. There are over 60 regional languages spoken across the country. The Republic of the Congo is located in Central Africa, straddling the equator. With an area of 342,000 square kilometers, it's slightly smaller than the state of Montana. The Congo is bounded by Gabon to the west, Cameroon and the Central African Republic to the north, and the Democratic Republic of Congo to the east and south. The Congo is approximately 70% dense tropical rainforests, with the remainder divided between savanna, swamps and mountain terrain. The Congo rainforest is the second largest in Africa and features incredible biodiversity of plant and animal life. The Congo River dominates much of the country. It originates as the Lualaba River in the southeast, then snakes northwest through a wide central basin before turning south and passing through a narrow gorge near Brazzaville as it heads to the Atlantic Ocean. The river and its many tributaries and lakes make for important inland transportation routes. The equatorial location means the Congo has a hot, humid, tropical climate year-round. 
However, rainfall varies by region, with the lush southwest receiving over 120 inches, while the north and interior have one drier and one rainy season as part of the tropical savanna climate. The Republic of Congo has a developing economy that is heavily dependent on its oil sector. Along with Gabon, Congo is one of the most prosperous countries in sub-Saharan Africa due to its oil exports. The World Bank estimates its GDP to be around $15 billion as of 2022. Oil was discovered offshore Congo in the 1970s. Today, oil generates about 85% of export earnings and contributes over 40% of GDP. Major oil companies dominate the sector, with fields located off the coast of the port city of Pointe-Noire. Congo produces around 325,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Outside of hydrocarbons, Congo's economy is largely based on subsistence agriculture and fishing. Most of the population relies on informal small-scale farming, herding and fishing to meet their needs. Main crops include cassava, sugar, rice, maize and plantains. Congo also has timber reserves, though deforestation is a growing issue. Congo's industrial development has been hampered by poor infrastructure, difficult internal transportation, corruption and unrest. Congolese culture is defined by several long-standing rituals and customs that structure life's milestones from birth to death. When a child is born, some communities bury the placenta as a way to symbolically connect the child to their native soil. Naming ceremonies officially present the child to the community several days after birth. Coming-of-age rituals are also essential in most Congolese ethnic groups. For boys, rituals may involve periods of isolation, tests of endurance, overcoming fear and learning codes of conduct. For girls, initiation rituals focus on learning household skills in preparation for marriage and motherhood. These ceremonies mark the transition into adulthood. Other key customs include intricate wedding rituals negotiated between families, dowries paid to the bride's parents, and polygamy, which remains widespread. Funeral customs involve all-night vigils, dancing, singing, and celebrating the life of the deceased before burial. Most traditions involve the communion between the living and the souls of ancestors who remain involved in their communities. In literature, internationally acclaimed novelist Alain Mabankou skewers politics and society through magic realism narratives told by eccentric characters. His books have won the Prix Renaudot and a finalist spot for the Man Booker International Prize. The food of the Republic of Congo reflects its diverse population with influences from traditional African, French and Portuguese cooking techniques and ingredients. Four dishes in particular stand out. First is poulet nyembwe, a chicken stew made with palm butter, onions, garlic, chilies and tomatoes. This dish has origins from Congolese villages but has spread across the country. Saka Saka is a leafy green stew made from cassava leaves similar to spinach or kale. The cassava leaves are boiled while meats like beef, chicken or fish are fried with onions, pepper and other spices and then added to the greens. The third iconic dish is mafe a thick peanut butter stew most often made with chicken or beef as the protein. It brings the taste of nuts to balance the savory and spicy elements. Makayabus are steamed breadfruits that take on the consistency of potatoes. They are typically sliced and served as a starchy side dish alongside fish or meat. Makayabu is filling and can be found at all types of restaurants across Congo. If you enjoyed this video on the Republic of Congo, you'll love this next one.